Hey everybody, this is Sully with Five Freaking Onion Rings. This is a cell phone. In the old days, if you saw someone videoing like this, holding up, you would say you are a plebe and you are wrong and you should always video in landscape. And then a thing called TikTok came out and Instagram. Let's face it, it's easier to hold a phone upright than it is to hold one sideways. So there are new ways of viewing video. And DaVinci Resolve came out with Smart Reframe and a couple of things. So I'm going to show you how you can edit your video for both YouTube with the ba bam horizontal layout and then easily convert the entire video to vertical layout so that you can upload clips to TikTok or Instagram or wherever your streaming service happens to be that you're trying to advertise and grow your personal brand because that is phenomenal because it is 2021, 2021, and you have got to have a brand. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe or else. I don't know what the else is, but you got to have your own brand. And just like your own brand, everyone loves the smell of their own brand. So we're going to get right into it on how to change your format very easily. And DaVinci 17 with Smart Reframe, oh, it's going to be so sweet. But this does work on 16, just not as well. It's a little, little bit different. Let's get into it. So here's my video. It's originally made in... 1920 by 1080 for YouTube. And I thought, I want to change this over to TikTok. What's the easiest way to do it? Here's my video. And I just added some fusion titles for things I wanted to say to people. And since these are fusion titles, since they're wonderful, and especially in 17, but even in 16, 16's fusion title, they're, they're fantastic. But since they are fusion titles, they will go to, say this one says, center revealed. Well, it will always be in the center. And this one is, uh, what I like is right side. So it'll pop up on the right side. Since they're fusion titles, they will always pop up on the right side. So the cool trick about this, I have my timeline set up. It's a minute long, not a big deal. Timeline one, right click on the timeline. You want to do create new timeline using selected clips up here. Easy. Bam. You want to take off project settings. You want to go to format. You want to change your timeline resolution to custom. Custom. You want to change your output to 1080 by 1920. Keep your frame rate, or if you want to change your frame rate, you can do so here, especially when you're creating new timelines. So that's in one of my videos. And uh, yeah, now you want mismatch resolution. I have it set to scale entire image to fit and that will present a problem so looking at your options here for mismatched resolution if you do center crop with no resizing you're going to get a huge picture it's going to look nasty don't do it if you do scale frame scale full frame with crop that one's good if you want to do scale entire image to fit that's going to shrink down to a box and i can actually show you that right here so we're going to do scale so you'll get these big black bars on top and bottom. That sometimes is okay. This way is not horrible, but it's not the way I like. So the best way I've found, create a new timeline. And I like to use scale full frame with crop. Uh, do not do stretch frame to all corners because that's going to highly distort your image. So you have two options here. You have scale full frame with crop or scale entire image to fit. These two will do similar things. I like scale full frame with crop because it will scale full frame with crop. Now, the cool part about this, since most TikTok videos are set up so that, you know, it's a person you have in DaVinci Resolve 17, you have this option called smart reframe. So once you do this, you create your new timeline. I like to decompose in place and that's for a reason. Once you decompose, now all of my video, all of my titles that I was talking about will go to the right spot. If I didn't decompose in place, it's just undo. You'll see that my titles don't go in the right spot. They're, they, they just don't. Once you decompose in place, they will go back to being in the correct spot. So they will go to where you want them, bottom right corner, center, whatever. Da Vinci knows to move your titles. If you have that set up as a grouping, won't happen. So now that we have this, we can scrub through and see that I'm in frame for the most part, 
but not great, not great. So DaVinci 17 has smart reframe. And if you reframe it, this is only in the studio version, by the way, so the free one doesn't get this. But if you reframe it, it will find your face and move you where you should be. And you can scrub through and see that it keeps you pretty well centered. That is awesome. That is awesome. I love that. That is probably my favorite thing. So now I'm probably going to end up doing more TikTok videos for it because it just follows you around and it's really cool. So once you scrub through and see that your video is in the correct orientation and what you like, that you're in the video, you will have to export. So going over to export, you'll have to do a custom export. So you want to stay the same. What you will need to do, select your type. I like 264. I also like H265, but I have an NVIDIA card. Resolution, you want custom. You want it to be 1080 by 1920. Make sure it's 1080 by 1920, not the other way around. Frame rate, that's hard, it's hard set. And I normally restrict to, yes, yeah, 17,000 kbps keyframes. I leave all this alone. I do like variable bit rate, high quality. It tends to give me a good output. But most of this, it's your same settings. Even if you use the YouTube settings, if you want the simplest output, I use the YouTube preset, custom, and I just change 1080 to 1920. And I always render out an MP4 and I use NVIDIA. And just make sure you set where you want it to be. Untitled. Let's do TikTok one. Add to render queue and render. So it will recompile and render out. And there we go. We have our video. Plays through, even puts all the everything up. Just beautiful. I love it. So that is the easiest way. The other method that we did earlier, if you stuck around, I showed you this way, which if you have something that requires a wider, wider field of view and you don't mind having black bars, you can do the exact same thing here. Decompose in place, go to your video itself. You'll want to zoom in wherever you want say you want it to be this wide you know if you if you have dancing or something else and you want it to be this wide again you would just do smart reframe analyzes the clip puts you right where you want to be moves the camera around and it's just a sweet 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 output so that's going to do it. Just wanted to show you how you can easily change your resolution by creating a new timeline, setting your resolution, setting your output. So now you can put things out on Instagram and TikTok from the same video that you edited already for YouTube. So it's very easy. If you wanted to do clips within, if you wanted to do just a few select clips, you just create a new timeline, change those settings. Smart Reframe is a DaVinci 17 Studio only feature and will help you reframe it. If you cannot use that, if you don't have 17 or if you are on 16 or if you have the free version, you can easily, easily use this wider format setup that I'm using here, this wider format, and just keep yourself more centered. You know, it's, it won't move your camera back and forth for you unless you manually do that, but it's very easy in here just to change your position wherever you want it to be to give you the best overall setup and that will give you a few black bars at the top and bottom but you'll have a wider area that you can be within i like 17 because i can use this this with the smart reframe and it can keep me in focus the entire time i think that's a wonderful feature kudos to davinci resolve people black magic there's a great team over there but i wanted to thank you so much don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you like these DaVinci videos and if there's something you want to see in the future because I like making them. These are a lot of fun to make and I love learning new programs. So I'll be doing this for a good bit until I run out of ideas. And I want to thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day. 2021 freaking rocks. So y'all be freaking awesome out there. We'll talk to you later.
Third time's the charm. <laughs> Bye bye, twenty twenty. Bye. I'm done. <laughs>